Entrepreneurs are a rare breed. They answer to no one yet. Work hours that could only be enforced by the most brutal of bosses. They throw away the security of stable employment. They ignore the sometimes negative whispers of family and friends only to sacrifice everything to ensure that they make a difference. That desire to make a difference to the lives of those addicted to combustible tobacco products forged the beginnings of the Canadian vaping industry. One entrepreneur at a time. Each one of them unique, but all motivated to pioneer an industry from scratch. They worked from their homes. They stashed inventory in cars. They were the founding fathers of DIY. They ignored the people who laughed and shook their heads and forged a path for many of us to follow, myself included. The path that led us to the GMP standard manufacturing practices that our company practices today. So the next time that you walk into your local vape shop, I want you to challenge yourself to a simple exercise. I want you to ignore everything around you. Forget about the next bottle of your favorite e-liquid. Stop yourself from asking what's new and hold the chit chat or the usual chit chat that you have between where you just came from and where you're going next. And I want you to take a good look at the person standing in front of you. Now breathe. Good. Now you're present. There is a living, breathing person in front of you. So what does it take each day for this living, breathing person to supply you with your next bottle of bee liquid? How many hours does it take to ensure that staff get paid? to keep inventory in stock or to monitor social media? How much effort does it take to research new products and educate a public? How does this person complete the extraordinary number of tasks that consume almost every hour of their existence? And I want you to ask yourself, how do they do it at all while bleeding on a battlefield? You see, the person in front of you is dying. I believe that the Canadian vaping industry is at war with sensationalized media and an onslaught of misinformation. Illicit THC products have been reported to be linked to a rash of vaping related illnesses and sales across the country in our industry are down as much as 60%. And the media is not accurately portraying the facts to the public by categorizing nicotine based products as part of the problem. People are losing their jobs. Stores are beginning to go out of business and real people like the ones standing in front of you are suffering. And you might not see it yet, but every one of them is calculating how much longer they can survive if this continues. And the wolves are waiting patiently at the door. Combustible tobacco sales are declining faster than ever, and big tobacco-owned vape brands are preparing to play three-dimensional chess with the Canadian market. They'll fight just enough to keep the door open to legally sell products, but not enough to protect us all from their planned domination. So let me tell you where I think this is going. It is my opinion that the infiltration of big tobacco in advocacy groups like VITA is just the beginning. And don't let the acronym fool you, because VITA is a Trojan horse to aid big tobacco in wiping up what's left of the competition after battle. And all it takes is to go to their website, www.vitaofcanada.com, and see who sits on the board. Jewel, Logic, and Vipe have infiltrated our industry, and they're now using our key players as pawns to lead us to slaughter. They will claim to be powerless in the organization while concealing that the real underlying weapon is to discredit our industry as a whole. So it won't matter that they can't control VITA because control is not the objective. The objective is perception. And allowing big tobacco to represent our industry in advocacy grossly changes perception. Canadian brands will suffer from an affiliation with the enemy and the cost of running an independent business will far outweigh profits and one by one, the people in front of you will disappear. We need to take action. 
And this is how you can get started. Educate the public. Educating the public is more critical than ever. People need to know that illicit street vapes are not e-cigarettes. The recent announcement from the FDA advising people not to use THC products, but advising people that use e-cigarettes not to return to tobacco needs to be shared. Share everything. Look daily on Google for news and start using your social media. Support your local vape store. Supporting the local vape stores right now is critical. If you're a customer, continue to frequent their establishment. Bring your friends and educate your friends or people that you know that smoke that there is a safer alternative to combustible tobacco products. And you ask the owners how they're doing and what you can do to help. Every bit counts. Stand up to organizations like Vita. Let them know that we didn't spend years fighting against big tobacco to join them in making a mockery of advocacy. Ask Vita why Big Tobacco didn't donate money to the organization instead of receiving seats on the board. Ask directors of the organizations not affiliated with Big Tobacco to vote them from the table. Because if it's true that Big Tobacco has a minority stake in the, uh, in the organization, it'll take one vote. Tell them you fear the very likely backlash and ba blacklisting of products and brands from association with the enemy. If you're a supplier, start contributing. It doesn't need to be money. Call the shop, see what they need, share their social media posts, and don't just service the ones you know. Now more than ever, every single store needs your help because without them, there is no industry. And stay informed and inform those around you. All it takes is a few minutes on Google. Set Google alerts, stay on top of what's happening in the US, and see how Public Health England works to promote that e-cigarettes are 95% safer than smoking. See, now more than ever, it is essential for us to join together as an industry. If not, the death of this industry will mimic its beginning. One entrepreneur at a time.